One of the most important things you can do each year is to scout your fields. You know that, right? Well, when you scout your fields, you're usually looking at all the above ground portions. What we're going to talk about today is looking at the below ground portions of the plant and how important that is. Well, the story is really told below ground because many times we get called to fields, there's something going on in the field and the grower says, well, I don't know, I can't tell. What do you see in the leaf symptomology and so forth? And I, I say, well, you know, I see a lot of stuff on the leaves, but what's happening below ground? Well, I don't know, I haven't dug yet. Okay, well, let's get digging. I bring a shovel with me on almost any field that I'm gonna be scouting because so much of that story is happening down low. If you've got a problem with your root system, if you've got a high water table, if you've got uh, an insect or nematodes or compaction, just any number of problems, well, it's gonna manifest itself above ground. And sometimes it gets confusing because you'll see, well, it looks like I'm short of nutrients, but it also looks like drought stress. And it also looks like I might have some bugs out there. Yeah, because your root system is limited. So we wanna do some digging. When's the best time to do digging in a cornfield, for example? Well, once your corn tassels out, that root system is at its maximum size. I like to take a look at this time, but you certainly could dig at any point during the year. Well, the reason why you might want to dig earlier is if you have a specific insect, for example, like rootworms. So if you've got a rootworm issue, when are those rootworms going to be there? In our area of the country, they're going to be there in late May and up through mid to late June. That's it. So if you're going out digging in mid-July, well, you already missed that. So you can see the root damage and you can definitely determine, hey, I had a problem here. I had a rootworm issue because all my roots are, are chewed off. Okay well at least I can see what happened now I can take corrective action for next year but yeah in terms of when to dig this root pit as we'll call it uh, I want to do it when that corn is at the maximum size so I like digging root pits rather than just going out there with a shovel so I really prefer going with a skid steer loader or backhoe something like that I want to see deep and I want to see wide I, I, I want more to look at there and also when you do that you're not only able to look at the, the overall root system, you can dig around a little bit and find different layers of compaction. Well, I think it starts early, and if you're out there early in your field, and maybe your corn's 6 to 12 inches tall, you can start seeing what's happening with your fertility bands. If you're a 2x2 two two guy, or if you're putting a 2x2 two two on each side of the row, or if you've got a deep band right underneath where your seed is planted, like in a strip-till type operation, they're going to look different. The root system is going to be a little bit different. You want to see what kind of root hair development you're getting in those areas. You want to see if you're pruning off any roots right from the beginning with your fertility. Then as you get later on, like Brian's saying, I want to see what kind of root system I've got now. How deep are my roots getting and where am I seeing root hair development? One of the things that we noticed is we saw a lot of root hairs in the top few inches because there's plenty of oxygen. But once we got down deep in the soil, we get two or three feet deep, we'd see long straggly roots that didn't necessarily have a whole lot of root hairs. Well, they were pulling some water in, but they really weren't finding a whole lot of nutrients down deep. It really encouraged us to start putting our fertility on just a little bit deeper, uh, which helped us. We started using a little less water per bushel we were producing. Our plants became more efficient even in the drought years and the heat stress times of the season. And there's just so many things that you can take from digging a root pit. Yeah, the but big Darren, thing to get you mentioned, over, Brian, is tearing up crop to get out into the field. Yeah, but I mean, that costs virtually nothing. I mean, a corn plant's worth two cents, so that's no big deal. It really is, but, literally two cents. Yeah, but anyway, Darren mentioned oxygen. We didn't have oxygen down deep in the ground. That was the first thing he said there. You're never going to have as much oxygen down three feet in the ground as you are in the top six inches. If you do, you probably have some major issues going on. Okay, so don't get too worried about, hey, we don't have a crazy amount of oxygen down deep in the ground. What you're gonna find is if you can build organic matter deeper, you get the fertility deeper, that means you have more roots there as that decays, the organic matter builds, all that stuff is great, and you're going to have more oxygen. It's not gonna be tons, but you're gonna have more to some degree. The other big limiting factor for oxygen is water. So if you don't have great drainage all the way down to three feet, you're not gonna have great root growth or great organic matter levels all the way down to three feet. So you absolutely wanna make sure you're getting your drainage addressed. The big thing here though is when we start digging these root pits, it's just so visual for farmers. We can talk to you for months on end about how important it is to get fertility deep and to correct compaction. But if you go look in your field and it's four feet deep and you see all the roots in the top six inches 
and you see water literally pouring out of the ground at four feet deep and your corn is drought stressed above ground, you go, hmm, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I need to somehow connect my roots that are all cut off by compaction up here and get them down where I have some moisture. That would literally save me. There's plenty of moisture in my field. I'm just not accessing it. And I tell you this story because that's exactly what happened to us. In the first root pit we ever dug on our farm, we had drought stress corn, this is about 20 years ago. We dig this root pit and we go, uh, we came back out the very next morning. There was water sitting in the bottom of a, it was either four or five foot deep root pit. And we had corn that was shriveling up because it was too dry. The field had plenty of moisture. We just needed to connect those roots down to the moisture. That's when we started addressing our compaction issues a lot more frequently and just doing a lot better job. So now we have deep roots, now we're getting more moisture in, and now our yields are roughly double from what they were 20 years ago. We get asked many times, what can I do to learn more and get better as a farmer? Well, the easiest thing you can do to get started is to go out and dig a root pit. Look below ground in your crops, corn being the most visual because it's got this great big root system, but any crop that you're growing, look below ground, see what's going on. You're going to learn many things you can do to improve your production. One other thing that will certainly help you grow better crops is to control our weed of the week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up next. <music>